Welcome to Indigos Gaming. Today's guide is for the achievement 23 minutes later on the mission Outbreak in the Wings of Liberty campaign. First, I will do a walkthrough on Normal to show the basic strategy. After that, I will do a walkthrough on Brutal. Loading in now, the achievements requirements are to complete the entire mission before the fourth night. We can't risk the contagion spreading to this camp. I want a perimeter set and some bunkers in place now. You going sweet on that doctor lady, Jimmy. Can't see why else we'd keep fighting for these damn dirt farmers. You gonna give me orders? In the mission outbreak. There is a day-night cycle, in which during the daytime, you can attack the Zerg buildings, and at night, you have to defend your base from attacks. Just starting out, I'm setting up the bunkers in preparation for the first night. There's just not enough time to really get any damage done before your base comes under attack. So I'm focusing on setting up economy, setting up defenses, setting up my wall. Now we gotta hold out till sunrise. Brace yourselves. This could get ugly. What's going on? To complete the mission, the objective is to destroy all 144 Zerg structures that are all around the map in that fog of war. Just the entire map outside of your base is infested. My plan to get this mission done in time is to use a combination of Reapers and Hellions. Reapers do additional damage to buildings with their grenade attack because these are Wings of Liberty Reapers. They're also very fast in their movement so they'll be able to cover more ground during the daytime. Both of those walls are set up. I don't start the mission with Hellions just yet. I will earn them, earn the ability to make them in just a moment, I believe. For now, I'm just starting to get the army ready. Both walls are still holding. Is 
now have access to the factory as well as Hellions. I can start making those using a reactor to make them two at a time. Looks like both walls should be fine. Now that it's daytime, I can send my army out and start destroying these infested structures. After the first day attack, I will have enough Hellions and Reapers to use two groups, which is, I'd say, a good end goal, so that you can have two different groups running on both sides of the map. That way you're destroying the Zerg structures as efficiently as possible. To reiterate, everything has to be destroyed before the fourth night. Upgrades. We do have an armory too, so we can get damage upgrades for those Hellions. Both groups doing nothing. Eventually, the infested will break through this southern barricade into your base so you can preemptively build your wall and get a bunker set up so that you're more prepared when that wall breaks. I see they left one building up in this corner. Since I had to bring this group back to clear that corner, they'll just stay up top. The key to getting this achievement is, in a simple term, just speed. Don't have your groups idle. Creatures, Stedman can study it and perhaps learn something. You've dealt a serious blow to their numbers, Jim. You're doing great. Looks like that sector's clear, Jim. Better move on to the next one. I'm not detecting any more infested structures in that sector, Jim. Clear that. Nightfall in 30 seconds. You've dealt a serious blow to their numbers, Jim. You're doing great. Nightfall is coming. So I'm going to pull this group back because they're much farther away. Should be able to get that last building now. Better move on to the next one. You should set some guards. They'll be coming again soon. 
Night time again. Now I have quite a large army comprised of reapers and hellions here. I'll just keep producing for the night cycle. And where did you all come from? additional SCVs to the walls for repairs, although it looks like this top wall is not even getting attacked, which means the way that you go out, the structures that you destroy, focus on first, does matter. You can make it easier on yourself. That's a lot of infested at this wall. Looks like this wall needed some help. Alright, that should be a bit better now. Additional supply depot base is under attack. Or not. Just need to help this right wall. Dang. Was it human? Reapers, with their ability to jump up and down cliffs, can actually get out the southern entrance. And you saw the infested were just about to start attacking that wall. Daybreak in 30 seconds. If you attack the infested structures at night time, you will have to deal with extra forces. This is not the end of the world. If you have enough units that can deal with it, then by all means, destroy things at night to make it easier. That it's daytime, it is day two. I'm gonna send both groups out to do damage across the map. I'm not detecting any more infested structures in that sector, Jim. Group 1 being almost entirely Reapers because of their grenades that they throw. This D8 charge deals quite a bit of damage to structures, making them very efficient. Group 2, Hellions and a few bio units. Both groups moving across the map. On normal difficulty you get quite a bit of time during the day. You're almost done. There's just a handful of infested bio signs left. I'll highlight their locations on your map. As long as you're not idling with your units, you should have absolutely no trouble getting this achievement. And that was it. 
And I believe I finished that on day two, which is well before the fourth night. Let's see. There it is. 23 minutes later, completed on normal difficulty. The basic strategy is defending your base for that first night while you build up a core army. I recommend Reapers and Hellions split into two groups so that you can move across the map in a more efficient fashion. And now to go to the Brutal walkthrough. Welcome to the Brutal Walkthrough for the achievement 23 minutes later. If you watched my normal walkthrough, then the opener and the strategy is going to be the same. I want a perimeter set and some bunkers in place now. You going sweet on that doctor lady, Jimmy. Can't see why else we'd keep fighting for these damn dirt farmers. I'm going to focus on getting defenses set up for the first night. Get the wall prepped. And then the focus is on producing two army groups. One comprised of Reapers, the other of Hellions. Both units are excellent for getting around the map and dealing damage to buildings in an efficient manner. Night cycle one, starting now. I'm just focused on getting the wall and defenses prepped. Making SCVs. I start the mission with two barracks. I put tech labs on both of them so that I'll be able to make reapers. But you do not get access to Hellions right away. Hellions and a factory will be given to you during the first night cycle. Where are you going? Get my engineering base started so I can get upgrades for the Reapers. Wings of Liberty Reapers have an extra attack in the form of a grenade that they will be able to throw at buildings. Insufficient Vespine gas. First Reaper's done, I'm going to send him to the wall. Definitely a lot more infested coming on Brutal Difficulty. SCVs to the wall. Hellions showing up now. Hey, hot chat. I got schematics to build up Hellions you saw in Marsara. Should be good down there. SCV ready. Go ahead. Huh? We could use some help here. Daylight burning. Base. Sun's coming up. We gotta hold on a little longer. SCV ready. The Grim Reaper has arrived. Add on complete. Both walls should hold. Let's 
Where the hell is it? Rise and shine, boys. Now it's our time to do some damage. Now that it's daytime, I'm going to get all of my army together, go out and destroy some of the infested structures. You better destroy it. But my major focus is going to be on producing the army units back at home so that I can get more damage done in future daytime cycles. Go ahead and split off. Splitting off into multiple groups. While it seems like it may take longer to destroy the buildings, your army will spend less time running around the map between buildings, which should result in an overall better efficiency. And from here, the most important thing is to just make sure neither group spends any time idling. The daytime cycles are a lot shorter on brutal difficulty, so you do not have nearly as much time to get damage done. If you attack buildings at night, you will have to fight additional infested. Scans are picking up a unique Zerg biosignature. It appears to be a burrowing creature that is underground during the day and emerges only at night. Sir, if you kill one of those creatures, Stedman can study it and perhaps learn something. Armed and red ones at work. Everybody's home, raising the depots. Talk to me, boss. What? Where does it hurt? Uh, are you ready for this? Invested Marines? Oh, hell, Jimmy, I don't care for that notion one bit. Are you the weaker man? So now I'm just focused on building up the army. Ready. Making sure both walls hold. Later in the mission, the infested will break down the barrier at your southern entrance here. So if you feel comfortable with it, you can go ahead and get your wall set up. And that way they'll do less damage when they break the wall down, because you'll already have defenses in place. Both walls seem to be holding fine. Your choices during the daytime can help make nighttime easier. Since I destroyed a good deal of structures in the upper quadrant, this top wall is going to face less infested overall, which means it has a better chance of surviving. Ready. 
upgrade complete. Thirty seconds. Daybreak in thirty seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my two armies ready to go. Time is here. Time to do some damage. Reapers and Hellions make for great units in the attack groups, not only because of their d damage to buildings, but their movement speed overall. They're able to really cut down on the time spent between areas. You've dealt a serious blow to their numbers, Jim. You're doing great. I send one group down the western side of the map and the other down the eastern so that they can cover more ground as a whole. With so little time during the day like on Brutal, clear, you have to make the best decisions that you can. All upgrades have been obtained. You've dealt a serious blow to their numbers, Jim. You're doing great. Making real progress. About halfway done. If you're confident in your army groups, you can continue attacking at nighttime. You just have to be aware that you will deal with infested. Army's probably fine to handle some night attacks. Oh, that one's in trouble though. Getting to be just a bit too much. Reaper's doing great work on the infested. Hellion's having a bit more trouble though. If I bring both groups together, they should be able to handle things pretty well. Call down some mercenaries just so I have enough base defense that I don't have to worry about anything. Oh, that's not good. 
The Reapers can jump up and down cliffs, which means they can get in the southern entrance before it's destroyed. It is now day three, which means this is the last cycle I have to destroy all the buildings. Because the achievement is to get everything destroyed before the fourth night. It's gonna be close. buildings should be okay gonna be very close though you're almost done there's just a handful of infested bio signs left I'll highlight their locations on your map yeah. 40 seconds and that is all. Done with about 30 seconds to spare. You did it, Jim. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Can skip that. Voila. 23 minutes later, done on normal and brutal difficulties. Definitely quite a bit closer on brutal difficulty. Uh, there was a lot more infested attacking the base, but ended up not losing anything too important. Reapers and Hellions make for great units to get this done because of their speed and the extra damage to buildings primarily from the Reapers. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.